Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up and run the Caliber Real-Time Digital Fill Flow in Synopsys Fusion Compiler. The Caliber Real-Time Fill Flow is a push-button solution designed to generate Caliber Smart Fill in your place and rod environment. This flow provides an easy way for users to run timing and extraction with sign-off fill in their design. First, we'll need to set this environment variable in my setup file. This references a predefined technology file for Caliber Real-Time Digital Fill Back Annotation matching your foundry and design node. Now let's open the design and walk through the steps to run real-time digital fill in Fusion Compiler. Click on the gear icon here to open the Caliber Real-Time option window. In the DRC tab, check to confirm that the rule file and layer map file are defined. In the fill tab, you can specify which fill flow you want to run. The option on the left will generate the fill and annotate it to the Fusion Compiler environment. The middle one will generate fill data and include it automatically in the DRC run and the option on the far right will generate fill only. Click OK to save these settings for fill back annotation. Now I will run DRC by clicking on the check icon. Without any fill data, there are 880 DRC violations. Next, let's generate the fill data for back annotation. Click on the DRC icon to change to the fill flow to launch the job. Close the pop-up after the job completes. To view the generated fill shapes in Fusion Compiler, select Hierarchy Setting from the View Settings tab. Then, change the view level to 1. And last, enable the fill cell. You can see the fill shapes by toggling on and off the fill cell object visibility. Now let's rerun DRC again. This time, we will include the fill data during the DRC job to compare the number of violations reported in this post-fill run. After DRC completes, we can see the total number of violations is now down to just 11. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Or, if you want to suggest a new video topic, please drop it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.